you guys. So as you can tell by the title of this video, um, it's basically going to be about how I got hired at Mac. Um, I'm basically going to disclaim this video by saying that this is in no way the only way to get hired and it is not the only right way to get hired or if it's the right way at all. Um, it's just my story, my personal experience um, and then I'm just going to give you little tips and tricks about maybe some ways that you can help yourself stand out a little bit or you know just like I said what I did. Um, okay, so basically a year and a half ago, maybe even two years ago, um, I tried getting hired by Mac. Um, I basically knew that I wanted to work for Mac since I was like getting into makeup when I was like 10 or 11 and ever since then my heart was set on it. Um, I knew, like I said, I just knew that I wanted to work there and I knew that I would be good at it too. Um, not that I'm saying I know I'm good at makeup, but I'm just saying I know that I would be good at selling their products because I, one, love them, and two, use them on not only myself, but on my clients as well. Um, so basically, uh, like I said, when I tried getting hired almost two years ago, I didn't really have too much experience um, on paper with retail and selling makeup. Um, I've been freelancing. I worked for another cosmetic company before. Um, I just needed to put it down, you know, on paper and make it look good. So that's another thing. If you don't have too much retail experience, if you don't have a lot of makeup experience, you know, freelancing or whatever, try to get some before you get hired. Not saying that you absolutely need it because I'm pretty sure there's people that have that work for Mac that didn't start at another company or whatever, but. I think that's something that's very helpful because that's something that they ask you. Um, what else? Mm, well, after that, um, since like I said, nothing really happened from there, um, I worked probably two other jobs since two years ago. And um, yeah, so now that left me, let's go back into, I want to say October of 2014, so last year. Um, I just woke up one morning, I got dressed, I did my makeup, um, looked really cute and dressed in all black, and I drove out to a store that was 20 miles from me. Um, I think it was like 18 to 20 miles. Um, that's the furthest that I would travel for work if I ever got hired by Mac, um, or for work in general. So. I knew I wanted to start there. I walked into the store and it was a Mac store, like a, a freestanding store. And I met the store manager, handed her my resume, and right off the bat she asked me, why do, why do you want to work for Mac? Why Mac? What do you know about it? So I was kind of caught off guard, but I was like freaking out at first and then I realized like, just be honest with her. So I was honest, I gave her my honest answers, and I guess she could see that I was being sincere and that I really, really wanted to work for Mac. So she gave me the recruiting manager's number or the recruiting manager's email and I sent the recruiting manager an email and I was like please I would love to work for Mac if there's any way to set up an interview an opportunity whatever please please let me know I really didn't think I was going to hear back from her because the recruiting manager probably gets like 2,000 emails a day saying the same thing um, but lo and behold like three weeks later two or three weeks later I got an email from her replying with a um, flyer for a job fair that was going to be held I think in the beginning of November so if you guys don't know the way it works um, well I think it's at least in California or the bigger states that have a lot of Mac stores um, there's recruiting managers that oversee the hiring process of their region or area and um, in my region it's in Southern California. I'm not going to say exactly the names because another disclaimer I kind of want to put out is I don't want to go into logistics of too much like details of the companies um, that I work for in this video only because I know that there's a bunch of new rules about social media um, that are taking place and not only Mac but just in general um, because social media is becoming such a huge thing. Um, but anywho, okay so yeah so I went to after, yeah, I went to um, that job fair that she sent me the flyer after replying to her, yes, yes, please put me down. So I left like three hours early because I knew for some reason in my head that 
it was gonna be like first come first serve well that's what it said on the flyer like the first person there there's no appointments or anything it's just like whoever shows up um so I knew to get there really early because it's it was like in the heart of downtown LA at the pro store that I knew that was going to be com like completely filled with girls and boys like trying to work for Mac so I left early got there like two hours early was standing in line and like 10 people were already there in front of me so I'm really happy I got there um, I met with the um, recruiting manager we hit it off really well she's so cute and um, she basically just asked me about my work history about um, what I knew about Mac and why I wanted to work for them and you know she asked me like what I had on my face that day and of course I specifically wore all Mac so I can be like oh Mac this Mac that <laughs> so make sure you do that too if you ever go drop off your resume or if you ever like go on an interview for Mac so make sure you can or at least wear something that is comparable to something that looks like Mac um, so they know that you actually wear the products. Um, what else can I say? So yeah, so after that she really liked me. Um, I hope she did. <laughs> um, and she gave me an invitation to the second round which was going to be the makeup application. That was going to be in three weeks. I practiced a few times on um, my mom and just a friend and um, went to that. I had to bring a model. The first hour was basically them explaining what the opportunities were if you pass this round, what would occur if you pass this round, and um, what the makeup, what they were looking for basically in the makeup. Um, they straight up told us your makeup doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to time you for 30 minutes. Um, normally when you go to the makeup counter at MAC, they take about 45 minutes to an hour. So that extra 15 to 30 minutes is going to be crucial. Like obviously comparing something from a 30 minute application to an hour like you can do so much more and it's basically like you can make it doubly pretty if you wanted to so that's why they were saying like it doesn't have to be executed perfectly just well and just so it looks like you know what you're doing and you're on the right steps um another thing that i can tell you guys is if you are trying to get into mac as a full-time artist i would definitely say that you probably need a lot of experience when it comes to uh, makeup artistry and you probably need a lot of retail experience and or I guess um, Because I feel like what they're doing right now is they're they're because this company is so impacted at least in Southern, California um, They're starting everyone off as freelance or maybe even if you are getting an artist position like with the least amount of hours and they're like they're basically hiring within so all the tenured artists are going are moving up into you know the full-time resident artists and the um like assistant managers managers all that stuff um so anyways the second hour was very 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 intense there was it was like in a small conference room with at least 25 girls we had our models basically sitting on the tables and we had to bring our own brushes and you know they checked if they were clean obviously that's a big thing with Mac so um try to do some research on the internet and try to sound, try to look at how if you don't already know like how to sanitize your brushes and what's good hygiene when it comes to makeup application and how you should set everything up um all I can say is um what I personally did was I made sure to get some tissues laid it down and um you know did separated everything with the eyes the face and the lips um when you go they'll let you pull product for i believe five minutes and then they start timing you for 30 with the actual makeup application um just make sure you time yourself have your model look at the, her phone or something um for me i know what everyone says on um these type of videos how they got hired for mac when they went to this type of thing is that they switch models i was like mentally prepared for it because I watched like literally every YouTube video that I could find um on this subject and like I said everyone said that they were going to switch the models I was like okay I'm ready I know what's going to happen and they never switched them so I was like oh okay even better so I did makeup on my I brought my model who is a really good friend of mine um she's gorgeous anyways and she has the most beautiful eyelashes and eyebrows so honestly it wasn't hard doing makeup on her at all so try to look for someone that you know you can actually execute makeup well on and that you feel comfortable with um make sure it's someone that you know if they already use mac make sure that 
they tell you what co what color that they already use so that way you kind of have an idea of you know what type of foundation you're going to pull make sure you already know their skin but that is only if you don't get your model switched um i guess i was lucky and we just didn't um so they i think what they asked for was like a do a trendy what's in trend now for fall like so i just did like a um, a light purpley smoky eye, um, like an inverted smoky eye, and a dark lip. I wasn't too proud of my work because um, I I had a strategy in my head. I was just so frantic, I totally forgot about it. So I forgot to pull some products, and since there was one of each, like everyone needed to use black track eyeliner, so I had to like go scour for that um, with the 25 different girls doing makeup so that was hard so just make sure you pull product and pull the ones that you know you're gonna need first um so do that and um, what else all of the artists or the the people that were basically judging us were walking around and make sure that you know what you're talking about basically if you don't know all the ingredients in the products just explain what you're doing just say okay I'm taking this green eyeshadow and I'm putting it under your lash line because you have um, brown eyes and the green is going to bring out, you know, the hazelness in your eyes. I don't know, just like basically BS it, but just know what you're talking about and be confident in what you're saying as you're applying it on your model. Because, like I said, all of the judges were, or I guess judges, were walking around listening to us. They had their clipboards, they were writing everything down, and they notice. Trust me, they notice and they hear everything that you're saying. Don't just stand there doing makeup in silence because if you have this beautiful model with a beautiful face of makeup and you literally just sat there and like you didn't say anything I don't I honestly don't know if you would get hired um because that's what they emphasized to us at the, the first hour that they were going to look for okay so that's where my story kind of changes from other YouTube videos that I've seen for other artists that got hired um I actually work for a Nordstrom's Mac um meaning Mac is, I, I work for Mac Cosmetics, but I also work for Nordstrom. That's the difference with other artists that are freelancers. Basically, when you freelance, you get on this call list that the managers go through when they need extra people to come in. Um, my recruiting manager basically explained to me that Nordstrom um, has a lot more hours than basically freelance stores would it have for me because you need to call they'll call you like down the list they go through people you know if you get in that day and they like you then they put you at the top of your list if you go and they don't like you they they won't even bother calling you um so that's kind of how that works and like i said there's so many people that not only want to work for mac that actually get into mac they're just freelancers because you can never have i guess enough people because it is such a popular company um, so yeah, um, I work for Nordstrom and Mac and, um, I, and I believe, um, another, I don't know, I, I'm not sure. I think it just depends on how big your Nordstrom would be that has Mac. Um, basically I am what is called a beauty on call. Um, I have hours, but it can vary. So it's kind of in the sense the same as a freelancer, but I and a few other girls are the other are the only people that my manager call to work for them. Um, so if I would have any suggestions about this, I would definitely say try to work for a Mac and a Nordstrom because you'll get a lot more hours and you'll get a lot more one-on-one -on -one experience. Um, all I can say basically is just one, please have a passion for MAC and for makeup in general. Um, if you don't, it'll definitely shine through. Um, even if you BS your way into the company and you have your first day, like I had my first day and basically within the first hour, my manager goes, okay, you're gonna do your first app, makeup app, you have an appointment and what are you going to do Like, if you really don't know how to do makeup or if you don't really have a passion for it, you don't know what you're doing, you don't know their cosmetics, Like, you're going to be super, super frantic. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you know, you know what you're doing at least and that you have a passion for it and you're willing to learn. I think that's the biggest thing for me. 
Um, I'm so excited to learn from all the artists that I work with now. Um, they all have their different styles, they all have their different ways of doing things, and I'm just so excited to grow as a makeup artist in um, that type of sense. Uh, what else can I say about that? Um, I'm not going to discuss pay or anything because personally I don't need to feel comfortable with it and second, I'm not allowed to talk about it. Um, but just, I just think they're an amazing company to work for. My, for, my first day on the floor um, was amazing. It's, they basically, I, I just had so much freedom. I thought I was going to, you know, not be able to do certain things, but like they just threw me into the fire and that's personally how I like to learn. I like to do things hands on and you know not get too much help because I feel like if you if you're guided along the way with too much help then you're not going to be able to do it yourself once you're on your own but I was basically like just thrown on the floor um, and I got used to things like that like it was just super easy when you are a freelancer and a beauty on call for a Nordstrom you do not do basic training meaning you do not go through the artist training um, which I believe is five days um, you go through a one-day orientation, which I have yet to attend, so um, once I do that, I'm excited to see that. But I even think for the difference between Nordstrom and um, being a freelancer is that I actually get to, st I have, I've already started working at Formac, um, whereas I feel like if you are as a freelancer, then you have to wait to go to your one-day orientation. Um, what else? And um, you also have to, if you do work for a Mac and Nordstrom, you have to go through their orientation. You have to, it's basically like working for two different companies. Like, it's crazy. Um, but it's worth it, to be honest. Um, what else can I say? I just, I'm so, so excited. And I, it seriously feels like so unreal to me that I actually work for them. Because, like I said, it's been like almost a lifelong dr dream of mine to like finally get into this company. Like, I remember going to the mall, like going into a Mac and being like, I could totally do this job like I know I can like I'm so excited it was just a matter of like pursuing it and being persistent and just having confidence in myself knowing that you know I had the abilities and the um, passion for it so all I can tell you guys is you know just be confident and just you know just put your whole heart into it and it'll definitely show through in your interviews and all the answers you give and you know, your actual makeup applications. Um, what else? I don't know. I just feel like I'm really, really, really excited to start this new journey in my life. And um, if you guys have any questions regarding anything, please leave them in the comments below. And um, if you have an interview um, or if you, you know, want to try to get an interview, leave them in the comments below and let us know where you're at right now. I would love to see and talk with you about it. So if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, you'll see my new journey as a MAC makeup artist. Um, so I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.